My first day here, I was really amazed at everything that is in this cyclotron. So when you walk past this building, not a lot of people know what's inside it. And it's almost like a little hidden gem. Um, a lot of the systems are pretty unique and look like they came from a sci-fi. So it's, it's pretty cool for that aspect too. Cyclotron uh, facilities run many experiments. What's kind of fascinating is to see the research environment and the, the almost ecosystem between uh, different faculty that come together to make this research possible. So you have uh, students and professors from departments like chemistry and physics working alongside engineers, accelerator technicians, and staff to make this research possible. The group I work with are studying uh, reaction mechanisms. And what we're specifically interested in is variables that affect something called the equation of state. And what this is, is just an equation that relates the density, temperature, and pressure of nuclear matter. And what this can tell us is about element formation. And this kind of applies to um, larger things in astronomy and astrophysics like star formation and supernova. So it's really interesting stuff. Right now I'm working on a project for data analysis on my own. And um, well, a lot of the time I am pulling data and plotting it. So what we're doing is we're looking at statistical models and we're trying to map those to understand um, experimental data that we have. She's smart. She's, she's um, really passionate about physics and science in general. And, and she's, she's a team player. She's, she's just really terrific all the way around. To be a successful physics major, you have to really be versatile. Um, to me, I, I like to say a physicist, the basic recipe for one is one part engineer, one part chemist, one part computer scientist, and one part mathematician. Because they're, you really, you're studying things that could be as small and fundamental as atoms or scale all the way to large galaxy clusters. And I, I, I feel like you have to really be adaptable to not only you know systems that you're working with programming but also just keep your mind open. The best part of working in this environment is just how unique it is. Every day I see things that I've never seen before and I've come to to meet other people who use these systems and I, I think it's kind of interesting just because it's so it's so out there. <laughs>